Today, I have a lot of PlayStation 5 tips and tricks for you. My name is Robin B360. Thanks for joining this video. And if you find some value in this video or you would like to see more, consider to subscribe and become part of the family. So in case you don't like YouTube shorts, but you do like PlayStation 5 tips, or you just want to check out the tips at an easy pace, I have combined all my YouTube shorts about PlayStation 5 tips in one video, just for you. I even added timestamps in case you are searching for a specific tip. And as a special treat, I added a bonus PlayStation 5 tip that I haven't made a video about yet. So make sure you watch until the end of the video. Let's start with PlayStation 5 tip 1. Fix it. Are you having issues with your PlayStation 5? This tip might help you resolve it. Hold the power button until you hear a second beep. Your console boots to safe mode. Now connect your DualSense with a cable and press the PlayStation button on your DualSense. From here you have several options like restart your PlayStation 5, change the video output, update your system software, restore default settings, clear the cache and rebuild the database, reset your PlayStation 5 and reset your PlayStation 5 and reinstall the system software. Always make sure to make a backup of your data first. PlayStation 5 tip 2. Sounds great. When you think you don't get the most out of your sound experience, you can try this. Go to settings, then to sound, go to audio output, then scroll all the way down to adjust 3D audio profile. Choose how high the sound needs to hit your ears. As this is different for everyone, it could make a big difference when you change it. But you might also need to enable 3D audio, which could also help in this case. By the way, did you know every headset can use this function? Not only the PlayStation 5 Pulse 3D headset. If not, now you know. PlayStation 5 Tip 3. No spoilers. Sometimes it's difficult to avoid spoilers. You do your best to not look on social media and gaming pages, but you can still get a spoiler through your PlayStation 5. Here is how to avoid that. Go to settings, then to save data and game, app settings, go down to spoiler warnings, and from here you have a few options. You can be warned about game spoilers, but also make it a bit more specific like only spoilers identified by game developers or everything you haven't seen yet, which is the safest option. PlayStation 5 tip 4, game and watch. For me, this is probably one of the coolest features. If you don't have the luxury of having two screens, but you want to play games and watch your favorite YouTube channel, like the one you are watching now, just do the following. Send a message to a friend and type www.youtube.com, for example. Open the link in the message you just sent. Search for your favorite channel and open a video. On the DualSense, click the option and select Pin to Side. As you can see, you can now use your PlayStation 5 for wherever you like and use a part of the screen to watch videos. You can even select which side you want to display YouTube. This way, you never have to miss a single of my videos. PlayStation 5 Tip 5 Charged up Can charge your DualSense in rest mode? This might be the issue. Go to settings, then to system and power saving. Select features available in rest mode. Select supply power to USB ports and set it to always. Now your DualSense should be charging as you want it. PlayStation 5 Tip 6 Favorite settings It's always great to start a new game. You want to jump into the action as fast as you can but every time you need to choose your preferred settings, like if you favor performance mode, will make sure you only have to set it up once and it will apply for all games. Just go to settings, then to save data and game, app settings, scroll down to game presets, and here you have the option to set up your preferred settings for all games. For example, the standard difficulty, as mentioned, the performance or resolution mode, first person view, third person view, and the subtitles and audio settings. This will save you a lot of time and hopefully you can enjoy your new games a bit faster. PlayStation 5 Tip 7 Look closer. Did you know you can zoom in on every game? This makes sniping for example a bit easier. Just go to settings, then to accessibility. From the display tab go to zoom, select the enable zoom slider. Now open your favorite game. Once you're in game, Press the square and PlayStation button on your DualSense. Now you can zoom in a couple of times at any time with any weapon. You can even use it to look around and scout the environment a bit. How cool is that? PlayStation 5 
Tip 8. Makes DualSense. Did you know you can change the settings of the DualSense and have the battery last longer on a single charge? Just go to Settings, then to Accessories, and go to Controllers. Here you can change the vibration intensity, the trigger effect intensity, and more. If you lower these settings, your DualSense will use less power and will last longer. Might come in handy when a new game launches like this one and you want to do some gaming marathon sessions. Enjoy your new game! PlayStation 5 Tip 9 Sharing is caring Did you know you can change the function of the DualSense share button? Stick around to learn why you might want to change it. Just go to settings, then to accessories, go to controllers and scroll down to shortcuts for create button. At the button mapping, you can change the create button to make screenshots or video clips, whatever you like. And you can also select how long a video clip needs to be. It not only gives you more control over what you want to create, but when you shorten the length of the video or disable it at all, you will save a bit of storage space, especially when you make screenshots or videos by accident. Pretty awesome, right? PlayStation 5 Tip 10 Reset Is your DualSense not working even when it's charged? Then this might help your problem. Take a small pin, look for this tiny hole and press it with the pin and your controller will be reset and disconnected. Press the PlayStation button on the DualSense again. Now your DualSense is connected again and might work as it should. Panic mode is now avoided. PlayStation 5 Tip 11 Silence Did you know the mute button on the DualSense has multiple features. Press it once and it mutes the microphone as you can see here. But if you hold it a couple of seconds, it mutes your microphone and all other audio coming from the PlayStation 5. Might come in handy sometime for say if someone is calling you in the house. PlayStation 5 Tip 12 Stop recording Did you know your PlayStation 5 makes a screenshot and video recording of every trophy you unlock? If you don't want this or save some storage space, I will show you how to disable it. Just go to settings, scroll down to captures and broadcasts, then go to auto captures and then go to trophies. Here you can disable this feature or choose when your PlayStation needs to make a screenshot or video. Before we continue, if you want to check out this video again, consider to subscribe. And as mentioned, I also added chapters for you so you can easily find the tips you personally need. Now let's continue. As promised, here is the bonus tip. Customize the control center layout. Hitting the PlayStation button on your DualSense brings up the control center, which is a collection of shortcuts for common functions. It's pretty straightforward, but you can apply a bit of personalization to the list if you like. With the control center open, press the option button on your controller, and this will show you checkboxes for each item, including some that aren't visible by default. If there are any items you don't want to see, you can easily drag them down. Now you have your own personal control center. It should make things a bit easier for you. But hold up, we haven't finished, because there's one more thing, which is becoming a bit of a tradition, and that is the question of the day. What info do you need to enjoy your PlayStation 5 even more? Let me know in the comments below, and I might do a video or short about it later. And if you need Xbox Series X tips instead of PlayStation 5 tips, I also got them ready for you. Just look at my most recent shorts. For now, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more or want to support me and join the family. Have a nice day and I will see you on the next video.